In the meantime, Obamacare back front and center today. House Republicans are huddling. They're trying to drop an alternative plan to the president's. Well, meantime, if anyone knows why the Obamacare website failed so miserably, wouldn't it be those who signed the bill into law? Well, watch what happens when House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi faces that question from Daily Show host John Stewart. Why is it so hard to get a company to execute that uh, competently? I don't know. And I, oh. as one who works very hard, no, and that's oh. my question. Well, let me get the uh, House Minority Leader here. I can ask her. Hold on. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean you don't know? Well, How do you not know? Well, it's not my responsibility. Well, meantime, House Speaker John Boehner saying Republicans are working on an alternative plan to Obamacare. So what would that be? Illinois Republican Peter Roskam is the House Chief Deputy Whip, and he's my guest today. Great to see you. Thank you, Gretchen. Great to be with you. So hopefully you can answer my question. What would the alternative House plan be? The House is focusing in on a solution that tries to reconnect patients and physicians and to get bureaucrats out. So what does that look like? One of the things that we need to do is to break down the artificial barriers that prohibit competition for health insurance companies within states. You know how you're able to buy health insurance or auto insurance or homeowners coverage all across the country? Right. You can't do that on health coverage. So let's change the law so that you can, so that health insurers are competing and um, pitching for business as opposed to being able to dominate a marketplace. So is we this should be enhanced. Sorry to interrupt, but is this a response to what the administration has continually said? Well, the Republicans aren't doing anything to help Obamacare, and in fact, they don't even have their own plan. So that's an old straw man argument that the president uses, that either you're for Obamacare or you're for no change at all. That's nonsense. And so what the speaker is saying, and he's making a good point, that we need to make sure that we're the alternative party and not just the opposition party. So getting back to how it is that you actually lower health care costs, another area is to improve what's known as defensive medicine. Right now, physicians are in a situation where they're going to order more tests because of a possibility of lawsuits that are frivolous. And it drives costs up. Let's instead look at how to reframe and recalibrate our medical liability laws so that they make more sense and get healthier outcomes, but don't just order tests that are unnecessary. Well, Expanding what are known as health savings accounts, in right. other words, tax-free savings that allow folks to control their own health spending. Some of these things, they're very common sense, and the president again falls into this trap of, hey, you either like my approach or you don't want to do anything at all. And I think most folks are now seeing through that. All right. So the House is apparently coming up with this alternative plan. Three senators have also come up with their own alternative plan. But I got to bring you back to the top of the newscast where you had Nancy Pelosi saying she has no idea how this whole thing went wrong. And your response would be? That is so pathetic on so many levels, I'm almost speechless. It also follows on President Obama's statement last December in a press conference when he was basically asked the same thing. Hey, your campaign website was so fantastic and healthcare.gov is such a disaster. What's going on? And the president said that the federal government is outdated and complicated and cumbersome. And it, it, it was like a revelation to him. So I think what's happening is most folks who gave the the president of the benefit of the doubt on the health care discussion are now completely over it and have turned the page and they want much more thoughtful solutions and that's what right. House Republicans are all about. All right. Well, thank you for bringing it up to speed on what the Republicans in the House are huddling on today. Congressman, great to see you. Thanks much. Thanks, Gretchen.